Hello everyone, this is Heidi Hancock with Devil Magenta, Intuitive Energy Healing. And this is your soul message for March 2019. So it appears that we are going to have an interesting mind month. Um, the energy of the month is moving, it's a figure eight that's moving um, right through the head, crisscross horizontally this way. And it is drawing our attention to how busy our mind is. And one of my teachers used to talk about this metaphorically as if the mind should actually be the caboose on the train, but we have learned that it is the engine. And that is completely backwards. And if the mind is the engine, it is going to create chaotic energy. It's going to create um, ungrounded things in the world, which we can see evidence of um, everywhere now, that there is so much that has been um, created without connection to the earth, without connection with spirit, and um, the mind is, really should be the caboose on the train, and um, our spirit and our heart should be the engine, and our mind sort of operates like a yappy little dog that is um, afraid that it isn't safe or it isn't okay or its owners are not um, in control and so it thinks it has to run ahead and take care of everything. And um, it's not its organic job and because of that it's like a part of us, you know, like a child part of us that's um, trying to conduct the show when it is not really suited for that job. Um, so what we're going to need to focus on this month is really grounding that mind energy. Um, that can be done in meditation, it can be done um, with exercise, um, and something else that one of my teachers calls the body test that I really love. I've been using this on a regular basis. And the body test is just closing your eyes and tuning in and asking a question about whatever decision it is that you have to make. If it's, you know, should I go out to this party tonight or not? Um, or if you're choosing between two things. So you would focus on one of them, like, uh, should I go to this event tonight? And you feel in your body, what does that feel like? And then you choose the opposite. Should I not go to this or is there something else I should go to? Um, and you focus on that and then you feel what that energy feels like and it will become more and more clear like crystal clear when you start doing this Oh, this one feels way better than the other one And I really believe and I've been watching it myself and and using this tool myself that the more that you practice this um, the more the clarity comes and I find it really surprising because a lot of times my body tells me something different than I would have thought with my mind um, than I would have thought that I should do. And the more that we practice it and the more that we put into action what the intuition is saying, what our body is saying, um, it feels like the message and the current of that gets more and more clear. Um, so I don't want to alarm anyone, but I also want to say if you end up having kind of a white knuckle month, um, it's okay and normal because I have a feeling that at the beginning of this month, I've already started feeling a little bit of the current of it myself, um, that the mind may get ahead of us and want to take the driver's seat and really go to town with this. So just notice that and just notice like, hey, I knew it was coming already, so it's okay. Um, and use your tools that you can to calm that down. So meditation is going to be a big one. Um, it's just like training a dog to not bark or training a dog to pee on the newspaper. Um, you just keep bringing it back, keep bringing it back um, every time it wanders. There's no judgment, shame, blame, like forget all of that. Just constantly bring it back. And um, that will help anchor it and calm it and let it know that it doesn't need to be in charge. And we'll do a little bit of that in the meditation today. Um, I want to tune you into the energy of what that chaotic mind kind of feels like. 
um, and then what it feels like to harness it and bring it down and anchor it. Um, another thing to know if you follow astrology at all, um, we are in the setup phase for Mercury retrograde and Mercury is all about communication and kind of connection with self and with other. And that begins, let's see, I wrote the dates, March 25 to, or March 5 to 28. And um, if you want to know more about that or if you want to follow astrology more um, closely, I would suggest uh, following Chani Nicholas. I can put a link um, below the video. And then also um, Kaipacha with New Paradigm Astrology is also a great resource for what's going on in um, astrology. So one of my teachers said Mercury retrograde is like a disintegration to reintegration phase. So it's perfect for this kind of breakdown, chaotic energy of the mind. Um, Mercury retrograde sort of causes um, stops and fits to happen throughout our life so that we, and especially throughout this time, um, so that we are sort of forced to pause and notice oh, maybe this isn't the direction I should be going. Maybe this isn't the decision I should be making. Um, maybe there's more information that I need to know before I move forward. Um, so just know that that is a little bit of the energy that's moving um, around this month anyways. I saw that just yesterday and I was like, oh, perfect with this mind energy. That's just absolutely perfectly timed. Um, so I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit of a learning month, a learning curve month. Not that every part of being human on this planet is not like being in school, but um, I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit more intense. And um, if you're on, if you're watching this video, you're obviously spiritually minded or you wouldn't even be looking into this, but... Um, if you need a little bit of help with that and you wanna, you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, my, my primary focus is working with women to clear their path um, when it becomes dark and they need a little bit of help with connecting to their intuition and connecting with their next steps so they can make grounded decisions going forward and feel really confident about their next steps and have an easier time making decisions. So I just offer that um, because it does feel like this month um, may kick up some of those things. Um, but not to be afraid of it too, you know, like a lot of, a lot of this work is just about getting to know yourself. And some of that is the discomforting, uncomfortable parts, um, that are within us, right? We don't need to be afraid of them. We just need to befriend them and know what's going on. And then the last piece I want to mention before we move into meditation is um, this piece about self-love. This just really keeps coming in strong um, the last couple of weeks. And um, I'm sure I have talked about the figure eight that moves um, vertically up and down our spine. And it connects us to this column of light that um, connects us to heaven and earth. And we're kind of in between the center of that. And the, we want to really focus on clearing and cleaning that column of light so that we can have a strong connection with spirit and a strong connection with ourselves. So we're less swayed by things like the mind and less swayed by things that are happening outside of us. So um, self-love is really the theme that keeps coming in as a, sort of a balm or a salve for feeling disconnected or feeling sort of thrown about by the outside world. When we are in self-love, and I don't mean selfishness, and I don't mean self-centeredness, I, I mean um, self-connection and being really uh, sovereign in who you are, grounded and centered. And we cultivate that by self-love practice. So one of my teachers um, just mentioned this thing about self-love challenge, and he suggested three hours of self-love for three weeks in a row. And my hunch is that after the three weeks, it's going to feel so great that you want to just keep doing it. And so some of the suggestions for self-love are, you know, going for a walk by yourself, being in nature, 
Um, you schedule a massage, therapy. He really suggested not doing so much socializing during it, but if it's therapy and you're talking, um, you know, of course that's warranted in a therapy session. But more, this is kind of taking time away to um, connect with yourself. You could take a bath, you could uh, meditate, of course. Um, just kind of tune in with yourself, sing, have a dance party, you know, whatever it is. Um, but scheduling that on your calendar, really grounding that in to who you are and that that is an absolute. It's not an appointment to be, you know, added to your calendar when you get time because you're never going to get time. you got to put it in front of you and make it a priority because you are a priority. Um, and the clearer and cleaner that you are, the better, more grounded and resourced you can be. And when you are full from the inside, your cup will automatically run over and you'll want to share and give and offer to others. But when we don't have that sense of self-love and that internal cup full, what we end up doing is we, looking, we look outside of ourselves for other people and other situations and other things to fill that cup and they never will. Um, they never can and then we end up kind of being in a hungry ghost dynamic, um, if you've heard of that term. Uh, where we're constantly feeding ourselves and never feeling full. So um, that's another theme and focus that I wanted to mention this month because it really does continue to keep coming in strong. So let's go ahead and close our eyes and tune in to the meditation. So just take a couple deep breaths to ground yourself in center. So inhaling through the nose deep down into the belly and exhaling out the mouth. And again, inhaling through the nose and exhaling out the mouth. Just let your cells settle. Tune into your body, tune into your seat, or the bed or couch if you're laying down. Letting go of anything that you were doing before. that mind energy and allow your attention to move out the left side of your head tracing the figure eight coming back behind the forehead and crossing out to the right and it's a little disorienting tracing this energy so we won't stay here for long, but I just want you to tune into that energy and notice how being in the attention of the mind can be really disoriented and ungrounding. And disconnects you from the rest of your body. So then allow your attention to settle back of the head, behind the forehead, slowing the energy down, and then moving down the spine to the neck, shoulders, the heart, solar plexus, moving down into the belly, into the root, the thighs, the knees, the calves, the feet, and down out the bottoms of the feet, into the earth, moving through the plant kingdom, and the mineral kingdom, and the crystal kingdom, moving down And 
just notice what that energy is like. How is it different than the energy of the mind? Notice the calm and the peace, the grace and the wisdom of Mother Earth. And what it feels like to bathe yourself in this energy. And then begin to notice your feet. And imagining that you have on iron boots. keeping you rooted and anchored. Connected to your heart, to your spirit, to Mother Earth, to your own internal wisdom. And allow yourself to be there a moment longer. wiggling your feet and your hands. And then you can slowly open your eyes. And so I had to do this recording of this meditation three times because my camera battery kept shutting down in the middle of the video. And I thought, well, isn't this perfect timing for this video and the Mercury retrograde that I talked about and this training of the mind? So something happens that's uncomfortable, that isn't what we want, that isn't what we planned on. And we have to constantly come back, like training that puppy on the mat. And we have to keep showing up. It's almost like in some ways it feels like um, the universe is testing us, like how much do you really want this? And we can, you know, feel frustrated and annoyed by it, but sometimes it's actually a gift. I think all times it's a gift because it gets us to slow down and notice what's happening. And to stay in that grounded place and keep moving forward with the wisdom and knowledge that we need around it so that we don't just rush through our day. And the battery warning just came up again. So I will end this video and um, I wish you a happy March and definitely reach out if you have any questions or you want more information. My website is doublemagenta.com and you can contact me there. You can leave a message or um, comments on Instagram or YouTube, uh, wherever it is that you find this video. And there is a blog um, with more written information on my website as well every month. And you can sign up for my newsletter for notifications of these if you're interested in that as well. All right, happy March. Be well. Namaste.